Hey everybody, it's Ryan. We just got back to the field that we had to pull out from the other day of corn of mine that was yielding around 150 when we pulled out. Um, the other day, Mitchell and Jesse and Kevin were here and they were helping us harvest. Uh, the corn here was yielding a little unsatisfactory and we had to pull out because they were calling for rain and we really needed to get the beans out because the beans would not dry down but we finally managed to get all the beans done and we are coming back to hopefully finish up this field today. Uh, I'm just going to be happy when this when this field's done and um, I'll know what I got. So uh, thanks for watching everybody and uh, let's get rolling. We're going to be loading right on the road. So I just got another load from the combine. What it takes to fill the semi is the two grain grain wagons, grain carts, fully loaded, as well as one full dump from the combine. And that pretty well fills the semi as full as we can go. So it works out pretty well. Then by the time that we get this semi out, he'll be coming back and by the time we have everything filled up he'll be pulling back in so the timing works out just about perfect <laughs> FYI these aren't our cows I know someone's gonna ask gonna finish this today we'll have to come back in the morning I'm a little There's long lines at the grain elevator, so uh, we weren't able to take out quite as many loads as we would have liked today, but 
um, the more corn the merrier I guess that I was hoping that we could fit it all in today so we're gonna come back in the morning and try finishing it off then So we're back down here at the last cornfield that we have to harvest for this season and the trucks come in in about an hour so we came up to fill up the carts and everything a little early and uh, yep let's keep going so as it turns out the beans yielded pretty darn well um, I haven't gone through and ran up the numbers yet but I am pretty confident that of all the crops I've done which right now the corn isn't paying for itself However, the beans have, which is completely reverse of what I was expecting. So, what we have over here, if you look out there, that's my profit margin. So, I'm not, I'm actually not exactly how many acres are there, but um, with the load that we have on the grain carts right now, that will pay off my loan for both of my crops. Um, I know that the, the corn hasn't paid for itself yet because of how it's yielding here, but we'll see what comes of that. But yeah, um, I think there's another 15, 20 acres here, or maybe 10. I don't know. I, I haven't been in the combine, but I ran up the numbers and I expect this to be my profit margin. It's all that corn way over there. And it disappears up behind the grain cart, but it's it doesn't go up much further than that so it really doesn't look like much when you actually come down and you look at how much farmers actually make off of what they what they run it's it's kind of i don't really want to say pitiful but um a little bit lacking in what you'd expect so what the farmer gets out of everything that they raise is just a very very small portion this is where the good old-fashioned kisser luck kicks in and the whole field burns down done with corn harvest 2016 we are wrapping up we gotta wait for the semi to come get up get this last load should be a full load and uh, we should be done videos guys be sure to check out all of our other ones be sure to like comment and subscribe be sure to check us out on facebook instagram twitter and snapchat all how farms work and we've got more work to do yet so there's going to be more videos to come so thanks for watching guys